The Road to Glory Youth Edition Career Mode with All Limit Athletics. Welcome to episode 99. We are in season 7 and we are taking on Napoli in the Champions League round of 16 as the first game of the episode. We're taking them on at the Boundary Park, so we have a home game. First game is going to be really important for us to get a good result. We don't want to concede any goals, of course. We want that clean sheet. We want to score a few goals so we can play relaxed away. And this is something I should watch more often, the, the news, you know. You can see Bryce was signed. Uh, we all know that, of course. Um, we also had two players nominated. Um, both Saunders and Aduama was nominated for the January Player of the Month. None of them got it because uh, Rashford got it, but they were nominated, which is good. We are going to play, not in blue, because we're going to play in our away kit home at the Boundary Park because it's easier to spot um, the difference between the white and red and, and the black that Napoli will play. I'm a little nervous. It's very important that we get a good result in this one. We're going to go with Amundsen in goal. Livingstone, Smith, Webb and Stone are a defense line. We have Mats and Clayton in front of them as central defensive midfielders. We have Saunders playing as a cam. Adwama on the left wing, Wrights on the right wing and Pratt up on top. And let's get the good result, boys. Let's keep the clean sheet and let's score. Come on. This ought to be a game not just appealing to fans of the respective sides, but also to neutrals. Two of the best teams in Europe up against each other. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. Well, sometimes as a footballer, you have to get used to playing in a downpour. That could be the case this evening. The rain has been lashing down. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me in the commentary position is the former England defender, Lee Dixon. We've got action from the round of 16 in the Champions League to bring you. It's Oldham Athletic up against Napoli. Round of 16, Derek. This is where I feel that the smaller clubs still have a chance to knock one of the big teams out. As the competition goes on a little bit, the the focus starts to get more concentrated from those big clubs. So what can these smaller clubs do? And now this Champions League round of 16 first leg begins. Baris. Precise ball movement. A spot on for that challenge. Oh, big chance. The net is steering him in the face. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. And Napoli get the ball moving again. How will they react? Ace to attack. Chance here. He can't hold on to it. Right. Terrific block there. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. Well, no stopping him. Not all that hard to deal with. There is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. They might be onto something. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Over it comes. Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? (laughs) 
Well, here's the replay, and he just wondered if they've been working on this in training. It certainly seemed to catch the defenders off guard, and it's all about the time he allows himself by being patient, waiting for the ball to drop, and then volleying with such precision. So, a level contest, 1-1. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Able to get his body. And the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to forge ahead. And in the event, just a talking to, but could easily have seen yellow. So a personnel change then. And now the delivery, and nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. He got in the way of that cross, an effective challenge. Well, that's not watertight defending. Big chance, and a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? True. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off there. No yellow card, but certainly no... Barenicea. Late in the game. Napoli with work to do. Who's to say what happens next? Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Full time then, and the home side will carry with them a lead going into the second leg. Yes, Derek, we're expecting a tight, tight game. That's what we got. But can they keep that advantage going into the second leg? It should be a cracker. In the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. He's always a man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him in that vital moment when he grabbed that goal. We have a win, we start off with a win, two goals to one, and uh, we did concede, which is gonna make it trickier, um, because they have a way goal now. <sighs> but we won, that's that's at least, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the win. Uh, and you know, we, we have Pratt and we can score away as well. So it, we should be all right. We start off with a win, which is beautiful. We got good ratings too. Players did well. I'll take this result, definitely. Two goals to one home versus Napoli is not bad at all. We will <clears throat> play the Carabao Cup final next. Playing Liverpool at the Wembley Stadium. So now we have a chance for silverware here. Um, Fill the price cabinet up even more. We won this last season, so can we get a back-to-back -back win in the Carabao Cup? I would not mind that at all. We will, of course, go for the win. I mean, there's nothing else. We're gonna play the rotated side, which is gonna make it harder, of course. Since it's Liverpool, it should be pretty much impossible, but Young will be in goal, we got par. Freeman, Rodgers and Stone as the defense line. We have Newton and Mironov as central defense and midfielders. Reynolds in front of them, Duarte on the left wing. We got Pan on the right wing and Bryce will start up on top. Let's see if we can make it happen. Let's get the silverware, come on. We need the title, we want the title, let's go. The stage is set here at Wembley, a sea of fans beginning to descend upon the stadium for what ought to be a riveting Carabao Cup final. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. This is the time when the talking has to stop and the action finally begins. A warm welcome to Wembley from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined in the commentary box by Lee Dixon, and we're just seconds away from kickoff time in what promises to be a wonderful Carabao Cup final. 
It's Oldham Athletic taking on Liverpool. Well, not many players in their careers get chances to play in cup finals. These 22 have got a perfect opportunity to put their name on the map. I'm looking forward to this final. It should be an absolute cracker, Derek. Well, he has to be regarded always as a dangerous opponent, but what should we expect to see from him in this game, Lee? Well, I love watching him. He's got quick feet, quick mind. He wants you to come close to you so he can get past you. So as defenders normally stand off him, and then he's got more time to pick the pass he wants, and he normally finds the best one. We use word in my book in football, but this guy deserves that label. He will be sadly missed. There it is! But that might be for this club. The fans are going absolutely wild. Stephen, one apiece on this match. Liverpool. Well, no problems defensively. And they do like to press whenever they can. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? And they notch in front! Well, fabulous celebrations. They've got their noses in front, Derek. Can they stay there? And Liverpool get the ball moving again, looking to find a reply to that setback. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. Can they square the game? And a goal! An end-to-end -end game! And they weren't behind for long! Criminal. Once again, the sides are level. It's a kaleidoscope. They create something from here. He's in behind. And it's in! They're back in front. Stunning scenes here. Not what Liverpool wanted. The concession of a goal. And can they come up with a coherent reply? Rodri. Here's Milinkovic, Savic. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Couldn't quite hang on. Nice thing with a bit of danger here. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Well, they've got themselves a corner and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Played into the centre of the box. Classy goalkeeping. Well, it was a good save from the goalkeeper, but you'd expect him to make that save, wouldn't you? Strength and control, a big part of his game. Oh, he's through here. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Danger. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Chance here. There it is! The goals keep coming. No stopping them today. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. That's the pace. Can't wait for that, Derek. Able to deal with the threat. No cohesion. Work to be done on the training ground, that's for sure. A glorious chance. Oh, off the post. Still alive. 
Konstantinos Simikas. A oh, terrific pass. Just needs to stay calm. And there it is. A goal. But will it? Well, what an extraordinary scoreline. Does this game have more goals in it? Santinina. And the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. And Lee, memories are being made. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter how much money you've got in the bank. Players will always look back at moments like these. These moments where you pick trophies up and win medals. Absolutely brilliant for this group of players. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, it's these moments, Derek, when you get your hands on the silverware and that little medal that goes round your neck might seem small now, but you'll look back at that, show your grandkids absolutely superb memories these players will have of this game. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners! Yeah, it's been a long old road to get to this point. They're going to celebrate now and certainly celebrate long into the night, I think. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. And this is really special. Getting to celebrate in front of your own fans, Lee. Well, it's giving something back. These fans have travelled all over the place following their team now they get to join in the celebrations go into the crowd and give them the cup that's what i say well then it might never find its way to the trophy cabinet lee and now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, you know exactly where I'd be sitting in that photo, don't you, Derek? <laughs> I think I've heard it before, Lee. <laughs> Straight at the front. <laughs> Beautiful win. We win five goals to three against Liverpool with our rotated side. Uh, Bryce scored a brace, which sounds pretty fun to say. But Reynolds scored twice as well. And Bryce scored twice. I can I can rhyme all night, but I'm not gonna because I know you guys are throwing up in your mouth right now. But nonetheless, we did win. We have a title. We got the silverware. We are back-to-back -back winners of the Carabao Cup. Beat Liverpool in the final with the rotated sign. Five goals to three. That is impressive in my opinion. Um, the the lads played really well. They played above what they should. They are not supposed to be this good, but I'm, I'm not going to, you know, custom for this. <clears throat> I'm just going to enjoy the win. Look at that. The winners, Olam Athletics, beautiful. FA Cup coming up. I'm rhyming still, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, we're playing Huddersfield away. So rotated side might... Then again, they just play. Maybe they should get some rest. We also want our first team sharp. Um, as, I mean, it's needed. We have. If if things fall out well, this could be the last season. Um, if we reach the, the the Champions League final, this series is over. So let's let's just focus on the boys. FA Cup away against Huddersfield. Should not be impossible. We are, of course, stronger and better. And let's play with the first team. Let's get their sharpness up. Yeah, let's do that. I know I should probably play the, the rotated side again, but they just played. They have a stamina issue. Well, not all of them, but a few. So I'm going to let them rest. I'm going to let the first team go out there and get us through to the next round. Come on, boys. Let's go. 
Our camera's on one man, and we can confirm this now. He'll be retiring at the end of the season. Stay with us. You're watching EA TV. And hello from the Kirklee Stadium here in West Yorkshire. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary position is Lee Dixon. And we have FA Cup action to bring you from the round of 16 just moments away. It's Huddersfield Town, and they face Oldham Athletic. Yeah, cheers, Derek. Well, what a big moment for this club and these fans. But as underdogs, you've got to put the pressure on early doors. You've got to use that home advantage, push back the team that's playing against you, and hopefully get a goal just to put the pressure on. Well, plenty of talk about him from the pundits coming into today's match. The rumours are true. He is going to end his wonderful career. He had work to do. Well, double bubble. He gets the ball in the end, but the first save he makes, absolutely brilliant. And he's broken free. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. High echelon goalkeeping there. And firing it into the area. An opportunity with the header, but not troubling the goalkeeper at all, Lee. Playing with purpose and control. Opportunity to take the lead. Serious miscue in terms of the strike. Easy for the Jackson. And they deal with the threat this time. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Real chance. Can he convert? In it goes! The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. And with... And over comes the corner. It was well stopped. Well, the positioning is everything for a goalkeeper, and he was in a good position then. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Will it come back to haunt them? A golden opportunity squandered. He is easy, easy save in the end. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Can they take advantage of the situation? And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day. It's superb scoring for him. Well, a second goal for them here. Not a particularly strong challenge. In it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all. Hard. It's a massive lead and it's very hard to... Alfie Mawson. There's the final whistle. The travelling fans are full of the joys because they are moving on. Oh, Derek, what confidence that will give him. A huge margin to go through into the next round. Played very, very well. That confidence, you can use that. You have to. It's like gold dust. Go into the next round with that confidence. Who knows where they can go? Well, I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance. Ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, 9 out of 10. We win three goals to zero. Pratt scored twice, and we had Reynolds scoring too. Have eleven shots landed eight, which is that's a pretty good one. Uh, scored three times. That's beautiful. They had four shots landed three, so and they had a possession with fifty-three percent. Doesn't matter though. We won. Um, you know, this is looking pretty decent. Everyone's getting like a really nice rating, so. 
good game, no injuries, perfect. That's I can't really ask for more. No injuries and a win. We are through to the next round, and we're gonna start facing the the Premier League teams now, I think. Um, but we'll we'll see how far we can get in the in the FA Cup. It's a, it's a tournament that is always fun to win. We are the you know we won it last season, so we are trying to get it back to back in the FA Cup as well. We just did it in the Carabao Cup. So we are now playing Liverpool in the league. <clears throat> they are sitting third. Which they, they are a couple of points behind us, and it's, this would be a beautiful. If we can draw, then I'm good. We don't want to lose this one. I know it's away against Liverpool at Anfield Road, so uh, there's a big chance we're going to lose. But we're going for for the win, uh, of course. And they have some stamina issues, but we look perfect. Look at us. Newton is going to play instead of Clayton as a central defensive midfielder because Clayton is suspended due to too many uh, yellow cards. But Newton has proved that he's he's you know he's a good player. So let's go. This should be something to savor. The best defense in the league up against the freest scoring team in the league. Who will come out on top? Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Anfield, one of the most storied venues anywhere in the football world. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary position is Lee Dixon. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Liverpool, and they face Oldham Athletic. Yeah, great to be here. How lucky are we, Derek? We get paid for this. Astonishing, really. Looking forward to a fabulous game. I'm sure the fans are too. Should be great. A match that should be chopped full of top. Daniel Malin. And this could pose problems for the defenders. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. And a good looking ball. Well, the head of Savic. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Will they profit from this situation? Can he finish? And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Now well, back underway. Will that goal have the effect of stinging Liverpool into action? He's driven in the corner, and he clears the danger. Cross towards that far post. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay. It's a really dangerous ball into the penalty area, and bang, he doesn't need a second invitation. Beautiful strike to finish. A chance to revisit the goal. So 2-0 now. Time situation. Two minutes the word. And he's through here. Really vital interception. A crucial intervention inside the box. Strong play here on the shielding front. Well, he's allowed his opponent to get past him. And there it is! Three goals in front now. An immense performance. Three goals without reply. Delightful pass. Can he put it in? Now the shot from that position left a bit to be desired. you just got to hit the target. Let the power down a little bit and go for accuracy.
beautifully disguised ball. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. The referee is given a corner. Played into the centre of the box. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. One possession back. What can they do from here? And that is how to tackle inside your own penalty area. Now can they counter clinically? Well, it could be on for him here. Can they keep it out? And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors, Lee. Yeah, Derek, we did talk about it earlier. It might be a case of who blinks first with a cracking defence up against the Gold Kings. And thankfully for all the neutrals, we had goals, goals, goals. What a game. We have a three goals to zero win away at Anfield versus Liverpool. This is just insane. We had six shots landed, five. We scored three. They had five shots landed, four. They had a 57% possession. We did win. Um, Adwama had a 10.0 rating. We got some pretty high ratings too. Newton did a great job. Mirono came in and played pretty well as well, uh, giving Matson some well deserved rest. Matson pulled off a 9.1, so he, he played well until he was substituted team did really well this means a lot winning you know we, we, we got the win meaning that we are now three points even more ahead of, of Liverpool I think we're like seven or ten points ahead of them now next up but for the next episode we're playing Manchester United in the FA Cup away so that's gonna be a really tough one United away that's that's not gonna be easy but that's for the next episode this episode is done i hope you have enjoyed it let's please leave a comment leave a like if you haven't subscribed yet please do tell me if there is anything you want me to know and i will answer it in the comments of course stay safe guys stay healthy and be kind to each other we're gonna s i think let's Let's end this by just watching the beautiful Carabao Cup win. Look at that. Carabao Cup champions back to back, all the athletics. Beautiful. <sighs> I like that, you know, the cabinet is filling up now. If this is the last season, at least we got a title. Well, we did win the Charity Shield, if anyone counts that one. But yeah, beautiful. All right, be kind to each other, guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode, episode 100. But till then, you walk good. <laughs>